KK Arnold is the point guard of the future. If things go right for UConn this year, she will get limited time with a healthy Paige Beckers and AZ Fudd, who should be backed up by Nika Mule. Yes, that is the UConn dream, but that was the dream last season as well, so it's unclear how much time Arnold will get this season, but have no doubt she is the future for UConn at the point guard position. When that future will start is unclear as Paige Becker has been non-committal beyond the 2023-24 season. So Arnold could be the UConn starting point guard or backup point guard in 2024-25 season. So let's take a look at the future point guard. KK started to get serious about basketball in the sixth grade as she was one of the better players And as she said, AAU got more serious at that age. In one of the interviews, she recalled how her parents sat her down to discuss what her goals were. And she said she wanted to play college and pro ball. She dreamed about coming to UConn as she had a poster on her wall and was always watching UConn games. However, her mom warned her that that was unlikely as Gina was unlikely to still be coaching when she went to college. Now, you should always listen to what Mama says, but in this case, Mama was wrong. KK said she screamed with excitement after getting the first call from UConn and knowing that they were interested in her. She played her high school ball at Germantown High School in Wisconsin and broke out and started getting notoriety in her sophomore year as she was named the AP Max Preps and Gatorade Player of the Year for Wisconsin and made the Max Preps second team All-America squad. Over the summer prior to the start of her junior high school year, she helped Team USA win a gold medal at the 2021 FIBA Americans Under-16 Championship. During the tournament, she averaged six points, two rebounds, two assists, and earned 12 minutes of playing time per game. She committed to UConn at the end of 2021 and then led Germantown to their first championship during her junior year in the 21-22 season. She followed that up with a repeat championship her senior year and then was invited to the Under-19 World Cup Trials However, she did not make that team. The scouting report on Arnold is she is 5'9 and is a pure point guard. She can take players off the dribble and dish. She makes good decisions with the ball. Her shooting mechanics are good. Her shot is improving from three-point range. In high school, she shot 23% her freshman year, 30% sophomore year, 33% as a junior, and then 36% her last season making 57 of 157 attempts from beyond the arc. Now, this improvement in her shooting over the four years in high school is impressive for two reasons. One, it shows the work that she has put in. So when she had that discussion with her parents about how she was getting more serious with basketball, they got her a trainer and her dad has been a big mentor. The second thing is, is it's obvious she's willing to work on her game. If you watch the films and highlights of her, it's apparent she can take anybody off the dribble at this level in high school. She has a killer crossover. This poor number 24, she torches her repeatedly in this game. But oftentimes what happens when a top recruit has a strength, they just continue going to that well and not developing other parts of their game. But no, she has done the hard yards and realizes she needs an outside shot at 5'9 and has obviously put in work as the percentage has gone up her entire high school career. Arnold has shown the ability to excel against top competition at the Nike EYBL Nationals in Chicago. She averaged 16 points, 5 rebounds, and 4 assists. As she moves from high school to college, the one question is, will she be able to finish as effectively at the rim as she's only 5'9"? But the things that seem certain that they can count on from her is somebody that can bring up the ball, make good decisions, and turn into a good defender and have a pretty good shot. After the summer UConn workouts, Chris Daly gave these quotes, KK is a point guard that plays really hard and can do a little bit of everything. K 
KK has pushed the pace. She gives us another guard that pushes the pace. I think she's going to help us defensively, maybe pick up some full court and create some opportunities and create more possessions. I think she's an improved shooter from what I've seen. Can get to the rim is physical. I think that gives us another guard that can do that. So the early reviews on Arnold are positive, but I think we'll get a better idea of what impact she'll have on the upcoming season when UConn has their European tour and plays four exhibition games. Playing into this is Paige Becker's availability. At the start of the tour, she will be 12 months removed from ACL surgery, which she underwent on the 5th of August, 2022. This tour starts on the 15th of August. So you would think it would be an easy way to break her in playing five-on-five basketball against live competition, but there's been no word as of yet if she will participate in the tour. If she does not play, then that will give more time for Arnold, and really this will give a chance to see if she will put any pressure on Mule for the backup point guard spot. Now, I have no doubt, Mule's experienced, and she was put in a tough spot last season, taking on a lot more minutes with the Beckers injury. But her propensity last season to turn the ball over and make bad decisions drove Oriema crazy and was ultimately the Achilles heel that ended their season as they had 25 turnovers in the final tournament game against Ohio State. The Buckeyes scored 23 points off 13 steals. In that game, Nika Mule had seven turnovers, and she had no answer for C.J. Sheldon, who went for 17 points. Let me be clear. I think it's unlikely that Mule will lose minutes out to K.K. Arnold, but I think the UConn coaching staff loves the idea of competition and everybody being better because they are fighting for their jobs as well. Having K.K. Arnold develop and be in the back pocket in case they have a game where they need a player that can give a spark by putting backcourt pressure on the opposing point guard. I think that will give them a good option going into 23-24 season. As well, if the UConn nightmare happens and Beckers re-injures or Mule gets an injury, then UConn is somewhat covered by the increased depth at the point guard position, which, as we've seen in the last two years, Depth is a good thing and allows you to make it through. Now, K.K. Arnold has been given the jersey number two. What do you think? Do you think she could win the backup point guard position and essentially become the number two point guard at UConn? Or do you think she will just be learning the ropes and have very limited minutes? Please leave your comments below. Poison is welcome as well. If you enjoyed the content, then please give the video a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching.